Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Amanda and I'm so glad that you're here. In today's video, we're going to be doing a eyeshadow tutorial. And as you can see, we did a gold and kind of peachy eyeshadow look. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then please go ahead and keep on watching. I'm going to use my favorite MAC paint pot in soft ochre and I'm just going to prime my lids so that my shadow will stay all day. And I normally just use my finger. Sometimes I'll use a brush to do this, but right now I'm just feeling like using my finger. Okay, so now that my lids are primed, I'm going to go and I'm going to take my Morphe MB25 brush. It's just a little short, dense blending brush. I'm going into the Too Faced Peach palette and I'm gonna take the color Peaches and Cream, which is this color right here. It's like a nice like peach, off peach, beige kind of color. And we're gonna take Peaches and Cream, we're gonna kind of put that like all over our lid just to set down that paint pot. This is gonna give us a nice little peachy look to our eye. We're going to be doing, as you know, a gold and kind of like a peachy pink look. Um, we're gonna attempt this. I haven't done this yet, but I was feeling it today. Okay, so now that we laid down that first shade, we're gonna go into the color Georgia, which is this pinkish color here. And we're going to just put that in our crease. Just a little light pinky color and we're going to just work that into our crease okay so that's kind of blended into our crease do the other eye it tastes like peach it tastes good okay so now that I have that blended into my crease I'm going to take the color candy peach where is it? right here this color right here and I'm going to also put that in my crease oh you guys hear that that's my neighbor He's very annoying. Like, no offense, but I'm not a fan of motorcycles revving every second of the day. So I'm just taking that candied peach color and just putting that a little bit lower than I put the other color, but I wanna make sure, cause I do have hooded eyes, I do wanna make sure that I get it a little bit so that when I open my eyes, you can actually still see the colors. Okay, so I've kind of blended that all together. That's what we have so far. So I'm gonna go into the, it's the Saharan Juvius Place palette. And I'm going to go into the color Sokoto. 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 I'm gonna go into that color and I'm just going to go in with a festival brush from BH Cosmetics. It was from the festival brushes and it is the brush number eight. And I'm gonna just lightly take that Sokoto color and I'm just gonna put that a little bit in my crease just to deepen it up because we are gonna do a cut crease and I do want to have some sort of like definition, not just like light, light, light colors. Okay, so that's good. I'm just gonna go back in with that uh, Morphe brush and go back into the color um, Candy Peach and I'm gonna just blend those two colors together so that's not such a harsh line. And then I'm also gonna go back in with the color Georgia that I had above Candied Peach and just kind of, because when you blend colors in, a lot of times you lose the pigment of the color. And this just kind of marries all the colors together so you have no harsh lines. So that's what we have so far. Now I'm going to go and I'm gonna take my Alamar brush. It's just their little, it doesn't have a name or anything on it, but it's just a little precision kind of flat brush. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna take my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm just gonna carve out a cut crease really quick. Okay, so that is our cut crease. And then what I like to do is just go in with my finger and kind of like blend it out. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take a really thin brush, 
This is a brush also by the BH Cosmetics. It's one of their festival brushes. And it's just a super, super thin, it's like a liner brush. But I like to use it for my brows and then I also like to use it just to like carve out my cut crease. So I'm gonna go back in with that Sokoto color or Sokoto color and just lightly kind of carve back out that pinkish red color just to kind of define your cut crease and clean up anything that kind of like transferred or looks messy. Now we're gonna go back into that same palette, the Saharan by Juvia's palette. And we're gonna use the color, I can't even say these names. Why do they make these names so crazy? Uh, Wado, Wadabe. Wadabe. It's this gold color right here, Wadabe, I don't know, but it's a really, really, really bright gold. And I'm just going to take my finger, as you can see, look how pigmented it is, it's crazy. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Okay, so now going back into, back in with that little tiny... Alamar brush that I use to cut my crease. I'm just going to put some of that gold color back on my brush and I'm just going to kind of like the, do the detail part like close to my cut crease. Okay, so now we have our lid. That's what we're looking like. Now I'm just going to go back in with the color Sokoto and just blend that up just in case we lost any of that pigment and then I'm going to go back in with the color caramelized again and then back in with the color Georgia just want to make sure I blend all those colors together now for our brow bone we're going to go into the same saharan palette and i'm just going to take a flat shader brush this one is royal and lane nickel and i'm just going to take that and do my brow bone with the color i'm on this color here i'm on the white color we're just going to highlight our brow bone we're also going to do our inner corner Now I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm gonna go back in with the color Sokoto on that same brush. And I'm just going to do my under my eye. I'm just gonna focus that color on the outer corner. And then I'm going to go in to the color Caramelize, which is that pinky color, pinky peach, and just put that towards the front. So that is the eye look. I'm going to go ahead and jump off camera, put on my mascara, liner, and lashes, and I will be back. Okay guys, so this is the finished look for my eyeshadow tutorial. I think it turned out pretty good. I really like how the peach and the kind of pinky red and the gold all works together. I think this is a cool look for fall. If you don't really want to go with like orange, you know, you can use like peach. If you guys like this video and you guys like me, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram will be right down here. I'm Amanda Yasmin 89 on Instagram. I like to post pictures every day. I like to do makeup posts and I do also post pictures of me. Lots of different plus size clothes. That's where I am a lot of times. So if you guys are interested in following me on more platforms and go ahead and follow my Instagram as always thank you guys so much for watching and remember be your own kind of beautiful toodles for now <laughs> I mean like seriously come on why do you need to do that I just don't understand I like bleh. sorry about it I don't like it it annoys me as always thank you guys so much for watching and Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side